Hello guys and welcome back. This is um, The Walking Dead episode 4 part 1. Hope you all enjoy. Uh, please subscribe and like and let's do this. God I love Telltale Games. They're the best. <coughs> the Walking Dead. Oh, I didn't say um, what ep like the title of the Apple actual episode. Usually it does. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... I already told you no. Ask me again, okay? What's the harm in letting her have it? It doesn't even work. <coughs> you take care of yours, let me take care of mine. Sorry I spoke. How's me? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the river from? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? there sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? <coughs> Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. <laughs> Who the hell is this? <sighs> Hello? Hello? I said answer me. Was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? <coughs> it tolls for thee. Thank <laughs> you. 
River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell is Chuck? How's that door cut? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? It won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Quit it. The pair of you. Could bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? Shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. <coughs> down there. Oh, you really don't want to see. and sit with Chris didn't know me, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Ah, oh, dang it, she feels hurt. <laughs> I don't oh, care. God, the smell. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you... I said I'm fine, okay? been empty a while. Whatever you're going to do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Cliff, what do you see in there? shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in.
No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, Bane. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. But we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris and Obi until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Probably not the best idea right now. <laughs> we need to stay frosty. I oh, little bitch. You should have just... How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan of Kitty's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Sammy told you about Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it.
That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Uh, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? <coughs> no. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, just some whiskey. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell her. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something over there. He went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. <coughs> go, go, go. Oh, it's loading. Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh my God. That looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? And nothing on him. Yes, he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. Poor kid must have tried to hide out of here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine. You can't do it yourself. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Okay, then, guys, I'm gonna end it there, and I'll see you in my next.